Welcome back, Phosphor.Fans. fans. Earl at thelogbook.com here with yet more Atari 7800 homebrew action. I'm just going back through Bob DiCrescenzo's back catalog here. This is actually from 20, 2011, believe it or not. And it is a near arcade perfect port of that Ninchi Butsu classic, Moon Cresta. Now, I'm always of the opinion that if you have a Nichibutsu, you should scratch it. So let's get right down to it and place some Moon Cresta on the 7800. like the original, it sounds like the original, it kills me very easily and very quickly like the original. Now one thing I will say about this is I'm not sure that whether it was Bob doing it or anyone else, I'm not sure that the port could have wound up being this perfect without arcade emulation existing to provide a means of studying the movement and the original graphics. If there had been a Moon Presta port for the 7800 back in the day during the system's commercial lifetime, I don't think it would have looked like this. never had to I've never wound up so far over that I had to fire the retros and break like that on the docking screen. And these guys still uh, we've covered the arcade game from Cresta before. Ow. <laughs> and I still think those guys on that stage look like the Atari Fuji. Now the thing about Moon Cresta in this format, although the playing field is kind of confined, so it maintains some of the vertical space of the original game. Ow. The uh the fact that the game is being played on a rectangular screen like this and not a rectangular screen like this means that you're the action is a bit more confined and you may have a little less reaction time a little less time to react to things than you would with the arcade game although I can see where he's I believe, you know, although the original game had a vertical screen, it was more or less in a square format. And it looks like he's closed the action into a certain part of the screen to maintain that square format. This one is still available through AtariAge.com in cartridge form. So you can get a copy for yourself, take it home, and it can kick your butt too. And this is a stage two and I'm on my third stage rocket. I'm not going to. <laughs> this is going to be even less of a spectacular game than the last one. I won't even see the Atari 
Hori Fuji creatures in this one. <laughs> yeah. So, skill level. Skill level easy. What does that do? Let's find out. Does it slow the guys down any? That would help. Skill level easy is, uh, <laughs> not helping. <laughs> okay, yeah, it does slow them down a bit. Okay, that helps rather a lot. <laughs> I retract my earlier statement. Unless it's a statement about me sucking at Mooncrust, so that is still very much a true statement. Okay, so the easy skill level kind of tranks these guys a little bit and makes them move in slow motion compared to the player. Same movement patterns, but uh, you have a little more, a little more time to react. Unless you just stink at the game like I do, and then it doesn't matter. Mooncrest was a game that I don't believe was officially ported to any home console until the Super NES era. So this is. This is quite a get. Uh, yes, yeah, this is quite an accomplishment. And again, Bob just nails these things to the wall and makes them arcade perfect, even down to the characters, which that's very... the arcade-like alphanumeric characters that you see there, that's very atypical for an Atari 7800 title. So there you have it. Still available at AtariAge.com, if I'm not mistaken. Go try it out for yourself.